Last month, I uploaded a video regarding the delay in pushing Android Nougat update on the Moto G4 Plus and in that, I said, do not install the unofficial Android Nougat and wait for the Motorola to roll out the original over-the-air Android Nougat update. Have a look. Term, Motorola Moto G4 Plus getting Android Nougat on YouTube, you can see that the YouTube is littered with several videos. But in those videos, you will just see the unofficial way to download it, whether on the title it is written official, but if you watch the video, I will link them in the description, you can see that they are unofficial. Since this video went live, I got several comments in which people asked that they have installed the unofficial update and they want to roll back to the original marshmallow. I tried to reply to as much as comment I could, but to deliver this to you in more informative and explanatory way, I thought of making a video on this and tell you what the ways are, what my opinion is. So let's get started. Starting off, I would say you guys should have been patient and waited for the original update, but now the ball is in Motorola's court. You might or might not get the Android security patch updates which are bug fixers and is important for the smooth functioning of your device. The first method of which users think of doing to roll back is the restore factory setting option. But guys, that won't work. You might be confused and ask why and this is obvious as the device came out out of the box with Android Marshmallow. But the thing with Restore Factory setting is, it just formats your phone and resets the setting if you made some changes. Whereas Android updates are stored in the registered 6 or 7 gigabytes of space in your internal storage which you cannot touch or use. You might have seen that when you update to a new Android version, the space in the internal storage remains the same and does not increase. This is because Android updates replaces the old version with new version. So there will be no marshmallow if you have updated to no good. So from where it will be restored as it already is replaced. Second way works but that is not recommended from my side as it involves routing. In this case you will have to download the official custom ROM of Motorola which is available on the XDA official website and Motorola official website. So you just need to flash that ROM and you will be up again receiving the official updates including security patch updates. But again, this is not recommended from my side. So guys, if you have installed it already, then just let it be, exist and hope that you get the security patch updates. Best of luck from my side. So I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you did, hit the like button and comment as it keeps me motivated to upload more and more videos. And if you found watching this video just a waste of time, yeah, let me know that too by hitting the thumbs down button and in the comments too. And yes, please subscribe so that I can upload more videos in your subscription box. This is me Rahul from Tech Daily bidding you a bye bye.